Welcome back to the magical show we call New Day Northwest. And there is a group of magicians out of London right now wowing audiences all over the world. They're called Champions of Magic, and they're bringing their tour right here to Seattle. Here in the studio to amaze us this morning are Richard Young and Sam Strange. Thank you both for joining us. Thanks, Thanks for, for having us in. It's great oh, to be here. I love magic, and I don't know anyone who doesn't, so we are <laughs> excited to have you. But first, before we let you get too magical, let's talk about giving, you know, uh, what you're doing here and how you got into magic in general. Yeah, so what we're doing here is we've got two shows. We've got uh, one on the Friday, this coming Friday night at 7.30, and then a matinee uh, at 2.30 on the Saturday. Uh, and we actually got into magic together. We grew up learning magic together uh, as kids, and we would practice and show each other tricks, and. Obviously, there would be a competitive vibe between the two of you, which, which would all, you know, be a great motivator to learning more and being the best magician you could. And then, actually, we then decided to create an act together, uh, Richard Young and Sam Strange, so we're called Young and Strange, and they're genuine names. I love this. How old were you when you met? Um, like, our teenagers, not sure exactly. And then we kind of worked together for years, and then we met an amazing guy who was putting together this show, Champions of Magic. He was going around the world looking for great magic acts to be in it, and so we're one of the acts in it, but there's also a skate artist in it, a mind Read and also a close-up magician as well. Okay, this is so fun. So with the show, you see things that are just kind of amazing to the eye. Did you ever imagine that you two would end up on a stage like this together? Well, what's really great is that we're obviously British, as you can tell by our accents, but is that we come to America and we do find a massive difference between the US audiences and the British audience. You said at the very start that, that uh, you don't know anyone who doesn't like magic. Well, I'll tell you what, come to England, because there's lots of people <laughs> who don't like magic, and that really cuts your teeth. And then when you come to America, where you're conditioned with your sports games and, and you're really gushing in your praise, it's, it's the greatest honor to tour the, the stage as a British magic act and do big scale illusions. We absolutely love it. Well, we are glad that we are making you feel welcome. So show us a few tricks. Well, we're going to do a trick that involves you, but also hopefully will involve everybody at home as well. And this okay. will be on Instagram. So if you have a phone with you, you might want to grab your phone and open up Instagram. You've got your phone. Okay, it's, I brought my phone here. Phone. <laughs> and phone. I was is like, it, okay. Is it okay if we open up Instagram on your phone? Yes, of course. And um, what we're going to do is, if it's okay, I'm going to borrow it. I'm going to okay. make Sorry, it. Sorry, I was watching things. I was watching reels. <laughs> I'm going to make a little prediction. Uh, on your phone. Yeah, okay. As he does that, I'll just say we are really excited to be here. We, we actually came in uh, late last night and we, we've got a few things to do this morning, but we're really looking forward to having an afternoon and an evening off. So uh, uh, we want to go and do some stuff in Seattle today. There's um, a little prediction I'm going to put. Hopefully, you're going to help us with that. Okay, all there right. A, there is a problem though, is that we always argue when we go to a new city oh. about where we should go and what we should do. So different we, tastes and things. Yeah, yeah. so what oh. we do is we, we found a way to stop the arguments. On our phones, we've got numbered lists, one to 50 of, um, well, Strangers is all about. Um, yeah, mine's food and drinks. So it's a list of all the, you obviously come to Seattle, well known for its cuisine, so I've got a list of all the food and drink options that you can have. And mine is um, activities. Things okay. we do. So we're hoping if you choose a random number for both of us, we'll look at the list and hopefully we will end up having a wild night out here. In Which Seattle. you're going to decide for us. So That's you're, kind of a fun you're idea, going to decide it? what we're going to do tonight. Okay, right? I'm so delighted. Well, I'm good. I've, I know some things, so I'm ready to help. <laughs> so, uh, would you give me a number between one and fifty? First of all. Um, eighteen. Excellent. Eighteen. And then, would you give me a number between one and fifty as well? Um, thirty. Thirty. Have a look at the list on my phone here in my in my notes section. Uh, you can see Seattle activities. I wrote okay. this on the plane. And uh, you can see there's all different things. Hopefully, we're going to get some exciting and wild. What number? 18, you said? Yes. I'm going to read a book. You're going to oh. read a book while you're in Seattle. Let's <laughs> well, okay, well, let's, let's hope the food and drink options are better, because that's pretty <laughs> dark. Uh, so, there we go. Seattle food and drinks is okay. one of them. So, um, you said uh, it lists all the ones you could have chosen water. Hold the heaters sticks. would have been good. Okay. Can, can you see that? Oh, um, yeah. And then you said uh, 30. 30. Which is candy. 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 Candy, okay. So that's all we're going to do. We're going to eat candy. You can't quite see it, but it does say candy, my friends. On that list. So you're going to read a book and eat candy while you're in right. Seattle. That's, that doesn't sound too no, exciting. No, it doesn't. Well, I'll tell you what, you're local, so could you at least give us a location somewhere we should do this that's really exciting in I, Seattle? You're staying in downtown. You're in the, go to yeah. the Great Wheel. You guys have a big wheel. Yeah, we go do. We have, we, have, wheel. Well, yeah, we have the London Eye, but the Great Wheel you'd recommend is a high, high thing you can look at. It's Seattle. beautiful, and it's going to be a beautiful day to look out and see everything in Bainbridge Island. You're going to just think Brilliant. this is the most beautiful place on Earth. So I should read a book, Strange Eat Candy at the Great Wheel. Do you want the, the, no, the problem with that, that sounds very familiar to us, that does. I don't really want to do it. No, because in fact, I told you a white lie. At the very start, I said we flew in last night, but yeah. actually we flew in yesterday afternoon, and we've already had a night out in Seattle. And like classic tourists, 
we have recorded our night out last night and we put it on our social media. And so everybody at home, if you can look at this too. Do you remember I, I was on Instagram on your phone? Yes. I went to the Champions of Magic Instagram account, at Champions of Magic. You can look this up yourself. Grab your phone, I don't want to touch it. If you open it, you'll find that you're still on the uh, Champions of Magic. Show, show the camera, show the camera. And you can uh, t make sure the volume's up. Can you see our last post is a little video yeah. clip? Yeah, okay, I'm making sure the volume's up. Just there coincidence. Is no, were you? What are the chances? That is, okay, <laughs> that is amazing. And you guys can look it up as well, at Champions of Magic on Instagram, and if you think you figured out how we did the trick, leave your comments yeah. in the section below. And why you haven't... If you figured out how to do the trick, <laughs> you better email me or call me immediately. Yeah, and while you're on the internet, you can book tickets to our show this yeah. weekend at the Moore Theatre. Oh, I'll be there. Thank you Perfectly so placed. much. Wow, I am blown away. And, of course, you can watch Champions of Magic September 23rd and 24th at the Moore Theatre in Seattle. Wow. And we